What's up guys? I thought I would show you how we set up a custom cutting template inside of Fiery that works with our arrow cut cutter. Now the arrow cut has a number of customized templates. If you click on preset here, you can choose your paper size. So like 13 by 19 for instance, that's business cards with no bleed, business cards with a bleed, three and a half by four business cards with a fold with a crease in it, photo three three and a half by five five by seven three by five and so forth so we have our file loaded up here it's a three by three uh you can see here we also added a 1.25 inch bleed just like you would for like a cinelite or a four over uh you right click on that and we are going to hit impose obviously we're in fiery Okay, they did provide us with a number of templates that they came and loaded whenever they gave us some training. So you can see here we have 13 by 19 single cut. This is no bleed business cards. This is the bleed and so forth. So everything I was just showing you on the screen on the arrow cut is here in Fiery. Okay, there's no template for a three inch by three inch. So we're gonna custom make one here. Now this right here does show you some parameters that you kind of have to stick by. So you can see right here, this top margin, you can be between 0.125 inches and 2.25 inches, or it could be zero. Same thing down here. Um, the trailing edge, they recommend zero to 0.6 inches. So a smidge over half an inch there. Um, the gutters, need to be 0.275. Um, the front edge, let's see, up to 2.2 inches on the front edge. So we kind of have to keep all of those things in mind. In between here, it has to be 0 0.08 inches or more. Okay, here's my design for a three inch by three inch two-sided document. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm just going to change the paper size to thirteen by nineteen. I'm gonna change the tray to tray six. And okay, I'm gonna change this to gang up and it's gonna be repeat. Obviously, we want duplex on because it's a two-sided. Oh, I actually changed this to 12 by 18. So 13 by 19. All right. This, in order to have a bleed, you have to do it based on crop box. So it's going to be like that. And we're going to apply the bleed to both, which is going to be 0 0.0625. And obviously, that is going to be a... 0.125 inch bleed. Okay, we're gonna define crop marks because we're gonna have to do some measuring. So we need the crop marks for that. Click okay. And the gutter. I'm just gonna make the gutter the 0.275 inches, 0.275. Okay, so right now it only has two. We're gonna change the layout column over here. We're gonna add six rows, it looks like we can fit. All right, it looks like we can fit that, but I do need to change that gutter setting. Let me go back to gutter, define. Okay, I only have 0.2, so I'm gonna apply that to all. Okay, too much. So I'm gonna go back to five and four. And I'm worried, let's see, we could be up to 2.25 inches. I'm not sure if that's gonna meet that guideline or not. So I'm gonna print this off and let's just see. Before I print that, I'm gonna go ahead and save this template.
file name. I'm gonna say three by three. 13 by 19. Okay. All right, so you can see here that the crop marks are inset, showing you what the cut marks are for the actual bleed. Okay, so this top margin can be up to 2.25 inches, and I have a handy dandy roller here coming from this crop mark up, and we're within spec there. This trailing edge needs to be less than 0.6 inches. And I think we're gonna have an issue there. I'll do it down here actually. So yeah, we are way over. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to adjust the space because I can do, this spacing can come in a lot more which is gonna allow me to add one more block down here, which is gonna shrink that. So to edit the impose file, you go and put it back in hold and then go over to held and then you can right click on the impose and you can go back into impose to edit it. All right. Having a ruler that does 16th as well as 30 seconds is very helpful also. The machine comes with a fraction conversion table to make it very easy to convert it over. Okay, I decided I'm actually gonna get rid of a row. I'm gonna go back down to five, and I'm gonna make that spacing larger. So when I go to gutter, right here, I'm gonna make this like 0.3. let see what that does. Okay, I ended up going 0.75 inches in between. Okay, we're 0 0.531 on the first edge, and then instead of 0.656, I'm gonna go 0 0.657 and see if that gets us there. Actually, that was my problem on the trailing edge. I was supposed to be 0 0.656, and I said 626, 1.656. This trailing edge is 0.531. Enter. This needs to be changed to 0.75. Oh, and we're down to five. The cool thing is now that we have this impose template set up, so I've re-imported that file, you know, as a three by three with the bleed. And I'm gonna click impose. Click okay. Now, all I have to do is come here to my templates. There's my three by three, 13 by 19. Bam, already done. X out of this. Click yes, and man, I am like ready to print this thing. I'm just gonna make sure the tray's right. So tray six and print. All right, perfect. Now let's print 10,000 of these bad boys. All right, to save it, all you do is click save I already have it saved right here, but you could click here, for instance, and type in the name. It looks like it's not filled in, but once you click save, all the settings pop up, and that's all there is to it. Now to pull up a template, all I gotta do is go to manual set, and you click on read, and then you get access to all your templates here. So we're gonna click here on this three by three, and now we're ready to click we're ready to cut in just mere seconds.
crate that comes with this machine is way too small, but this just came in from Uline and is absolutely the perfect size for this. Plus it's got a nice little handle for grabbing to throw it away.